from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, and indeed, more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions in this quarterfinal game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from Kenyatta University, Kenya. Alba Gisheha, Dadia, Telecom and IT, Nairobi. Malcolm Gogi, second year, Law, Nairobi. David Kimaro, second year, French and Literature from Taveta. And from my left, it's the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. Julius Ngai, second year, law from Kuyu. Peter Njothi, first year law, Nairobi. Mohamed Boru, third year social science student from Nairobi. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in center position for Kenyatta University, Kenya, is Malcolm, and I believe that of the two competing teams, you are friends in life as in battle. So, Malcolm, please tell us something about Julius from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Well, Julius is a diamond in the rough. He's, he's well, a unique person. There's possibly something like six billion people around the world, but definitely you'll not find another like him, a diamond in the rough. I'll take so, your word for something it. Something like that. Julius. Yes, Something John. about Malcolm from KU. What can I say? Um, first when I met him, the first word that I'd have described him with, I think would have been animated. He's a very interesting character to be around. You never get bored. And yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's quite a friend to have. And it's an honor to be in the opposite side facing him today. Let's see how friends compete. When Julius, who has the choice of category, has a look at our first four categories, and they are action movie heroes, African nonfiction, keeping the peace, weather vane. Action movie heroes. It is. Which muscular action hero said, I'll be back in movies like Commander and Total Recall? KU. I don't trust nigga. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, in which movie about a robot assassin from the future did he first use that line? Terminator. That is correct. Two, today Schwarzenegger is the governor of which populous US state? California. That is correct for 20 points, taking you to 30 first off. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Weather vane. Weather vane it is. 
trade barter exchange. Which names reliable wins important to merchant ships of yesteryear? <coughs> KU. Trin. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Doldrums, glooms, dumps. Which names a region in the ocean with little wind where a sailing vessel might be stranded for days? Doldrums. That is correct for 20 points. Your total is 60. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Weather vane. Weather vane it is. Which precipitation-related term describes the heavily wooded areas of the Congo and New Guinea? <coughs> KU. Rainforest. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One canopy tree line understory. Which is the roof-like cover of a rainforest? Canopy. That is correct. Two. Which rainforest product is vulcanized for tires? Rubber. That is correct for 20 points. Your total is now 90. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Weather vane. Weather vane it is. Downward, forward, leeward. Which weather term is the opposite of windward? <coughs> Queer? Leeward. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Cirrus cumulus stratus. One. Which type of cloud is made of ice crystals at least 6,000 meters high? Cyrus. That is correct. Two. Which is a flat, low-lying cloud? Cumulus. No, the correct answer is stratus. You have 20 points. Julius, choice of category, please. Action movie heroes. It is. In 2008, Harrison Ford returned as which old professor caught up in a scheme by the Russians to steal a mysterious artifact? <coughs> Queer. Uh, Indiana Jones. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, how many Indiana Jones films have been produced? Two. No, the correct answer is four. Give the title of any one of those films. Indiana Jones and the... You could have started off with Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark before following with all the others. No points for that. Julius, choice of category, please. Action movie heroes. Action movie heroes it is. The world's top action film of 2008 starred Christian Bale as which comic book character in The Dark Knight? <coughs> KU. Batman. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, the film The Dark Knight also features which Batman nemesis? The Joker. That is correct. Two, which deceased Australian actor portrayed that nemesis in the film? Heath Ledger. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 120. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Action movie heroes. Action movie heroes it is. In which comic book turned 2008 action film does industrialist Tony Stark build himself a special suit of armor? <coughs> Queer. Iron Man. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Which US actor plays Tony Stark? Um, pass. The correct answer is Robert Downey Jr. Two. In which country, a real life war zone, is Stark attacked while preparing to demonstrate a new weapon? Afghanistan. That is correct. For 10 points. End of round one. The score stands at 50 points for Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 120 for Kenyatta University, Kenya. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Zane and other partners have teamed up to develop a comprehensive telecommunication strategy for villages by driving mobile phone connectivity for the development and growth of communities. Zane is a partner of the Millennium Village Project, which is a program implementing the Millennium Development Goals at a local level. The first MDG, eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. The second MDG, achieve universal primary education. Some of the things we get from the market The third MDG, promote gender equality and empower women. Zane is using mobile communication to improve quality of life for people in the remotest parts of the world. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 50 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 120 for Kenyatta University, Kenya.
We have two new face-off players who know each other well in centre position. Albert, for Kenyatta University, please talk to us of Peter from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Uh, what I can say about Peter, he's a very interesting person. His stories are nice and he's also a very funny person. He's nice to be around. I'll take your word for it. Peter, talk to us of Albert. Albert is a gregarious character who loves the thrill of exhilarating fun, but he is a silent killer. A silent killer? I'll take your word for it. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are... A is for adjective. It's a date. Politics. Tops in crops. A is for adjectives. It is. Archaic, anarchic, aromatic. Which best describes flowers and spices? KU. Aromatic. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which adjective beginning A double P and ending A T E describes one, an amount that is not exact? Approximate. That is correct. Two, a court that reviews lower court cases. Appellate. That is correct for 20 points. Your total is 150. Albert, choice of category, please. Tops and crops. It is. Which bite of Benin nation is tops in producing cassava, cocoa yams, and yams? KU. Nigeria. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Which large South American nation is number two in cassava production? Brazil. That is correct. Two. Which West African nation is number two in cocoa yams and yams? Ghana. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 180. Albert, choice of category, please. Tops and crops. It is. Which nation of over one billion people is tops in bananas, mangoes, millet, and okra? KU. India. That is correct. And that sound means that you get to play the Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, as you know, which today is African mammals. Please take a look at your screen. Which of these African mammals is known as one? A pangolin. C. Yes. Two, a fennec. B. Is correct. And three, an African mole rat. A. No, the correct answer is D. You get 20 points, bringing your total to 210. Albert, choice of category, please. Tops and crops. It is. Though watermelons originated in Africa, two-thirds of the world's watermelons are now produced in which people's republic? KU. China. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five-point bonus for all three. Of the top eight olive-producing nations, all bordering the Mediterranean, which three are on the African continent? Tunisia. Yes. Algeria. No. Morocco. For 10 points, Egypt should have been in there somewhere. Albert, choice of category, please. Tops and crops. It is. Which G8 nation famous for its beers leads the world in the production of the beer flavoring hops? KU. Germany. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other two G8 nations famous for their fine wines rank number one and number two in grape production? France and USA. And Italy. For 10 points, bringing your total to 250. Albert, choice of category, please. It's a date. It's a date, it is. Which month includes celebrations for Independence Day in Nigeria, Uganda, and Zambia? KU? October. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Nigeria won independence from which country in 1960? Uh, Britain. That is correct. Two. Before independence, Zambia was the northern part of which protectorate? Oh, Rhodesia. That is correct. For 20 points. End of round two. <laughs> the score stands at 50 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 280 for Kenyatta University. We'll be back to take more of the Zane Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break. In tonight's segment, we'll answer the question, why do we have time zones? Once upon a time, wherever you were, noon was a time at which the sun was directly overhead. For example, the sun is directly overhead in Accra about one hour before it is in Freetown. So when it was noon in Accra, it was 11 in Freetown. 
that sort of local time worked well until trains became a popular mode of transportation and before the invention of the telephone, radio and television. Today, scheduling events such as a televised football match would be terribly complicated if the game started in Abuja at 12 o'clock but at 12.24 in Maiduguri and 11.48 in Lagos. Time zones were created in the 1880s based not only on geography but also with commercial and political considerations in mind. Email me with topics you'd like to know more about at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com. Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. In the last round, we failed to award 10 points to Kenyatta University in the African Mammals category. We've now rectified that mistake and the score stands at 50 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 290 for Kenyatta University. So, onwards, onwards, round three. And in the center positions for Kenyatta University is David, who will talk to us about Mohammed. Back in Nairobi, we are neighbors with Mohammed, and we normally play football together. And we also have the same circle of friends, and I'm sure Right now, as our friends are watching, they will be torn apart which one of us to support. I'll take your word for it. Mohammed, talk to us of David. Well, what can I say? As you said, we're neighbors. We play a lot of football together. I beat him in PlayStation a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's nice we can present our rivalry in an international platform and may the best man win. Your team is behind, Mohammed. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are around Africa, Asian history, FIFA World Cup, in sickness and in health. Choice of category, please, Mohammed. Uh, give me a FIFA World Cup. FIFA World Cup it is. South Africa's country code and a word meaning 10 were combined to name which green-haired cat the mascot of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Queer? 27. No, I'm turning it over to KU. Zakumi. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Zakumi is which species of great cat? Leopard. That is correct. Two. The first such mascot, 1966's World Cup Willy, was which other type of cat? A symbol of the host country, England. Lion. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 320. David, choice of category, please. In sickness and in health. It is. Myopia and presbyopia are conditions that affect which sense organ? Kuea? Aye. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Ethology, cytology, ophthalmology. One, which is the study of the eyes? Ophthalmology. That is correct. Two, which is the study of cells? Cytology. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 80. Mohammed, choice of category, FIFA please. World Cup. It is. In 1970, which nation became the first to win a third FIFA World Cup? KU? Brazil. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, in 1977, which Brazilian superstar retired from football? Pele. That is correct. Two, one year earlier, which future Brazilian superstar and top scorer of World Cup goals was born? Ronaldo. That is correct for 20 points. Your total is now 350. David, choice of category, please. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health it is. In which medical procedure is tissue removed from a patient and examined with a microscope? The correct answer is a biopsy. David, choice of category, please. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health it is. Liver disease sometimes results in which condition? A yellowing of the eyes and skin. KU? Jaundice. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, amniotic fluid, bilirubin, phlegm. The yellow color of jaundice is caused by an excess of which substance? Bilirubin. That is correct. For 20 points, your total is 380. David, choice of category, please. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health, it is. Long thought useless, 
which worm-like extension of the large intestine is believed to serve as a reservoir of good bacteria? Queer. Appendix. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, those bacteria are important in producing cobalamin, a vitamin in which letter designated group? K. No, B. Two, which V word describes Vestige. an organ of the body with no known use? Vestigial. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 100. Mohammed, choice F of category, please. FIFA World Cup. FIFA World Cup it is. Daniela Cristian Marta, which Brazilian was named the FIFA Women's World Player of the Year 2008? Queer. Marta. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Marta has won the award how many times? Thrice. Yes. Two. 2008 nominee Kelly Smith represents which European national side? England. Is correct for 20 points. End of round three. <laughs> the score stands at 130 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 380 for Kenyatta University, both of Kenya. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first three correct players win a Zane goodie bag with two polo shirts, hat, mug, and 1,000 Kenya shillings in Zane airtime. The question for today is, which of these is a fresh water lake? Again, which of these is a fresh water lake? Is it A, Lake Nakuru, B, Lake Magadi, or C, Lake Baringo? SMS your answer to 888. Choose A for Lake Nakuru, B, Lake Magadi, or C, Lake Baringo. SMS your answer to 888. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge, one last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 130 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and 380 for Kenyatta University. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Catholic University of Eastern Africa, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are the 20th century, which direction? Literature around the world, the scientific alphabet. 20th century. The 20th century it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. During which decade? The zeros, the tens, the twenties, the thirties, etc. Did each of these occur? And seconds away, East and West Germany reunited. 90s. Yes. Egypt's three officers forced out 50s. King Farouk. Yes. Athel Fugard's Master Harold and the Boys. 70s. No. Ray Tomlinson invented internet based. 90s. No. Sierra Leone's first Prime Minister, Milton Margai, 80s. died. 80s. No. Uruguay won the first FIFA no, World Cup. 30s. Yes. The World Health Organization was created. 60s. No. Mao Zedong began the Long March. 40s. No. Archduke. 10s. Yes. Pakistan tested his first. 90s. Yes. Athel Fugard, Master Harold and the 20s. Boys. 20s. Yes. Ray Tomlinson. 80s. No. Sierra Leone. 70s. No. The World Health. 60s. No. 90s. Mao Zedong. 30s. Yes. Ray Tomlinson. 80s. 10 zeros. No. 80s. Sierra Leone's 60s. first Prime Minister. 60s. No. The World Health Organization was 90s. No. 
Lady Tomlinson. Zeros. No. 50s. Sierra Leone's first prime minister. 80s. 60s. No. You answered seven questions correctly, giving you a total of 350 points in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 480. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. The email was invented in the 1970s. Milton Margai died in the 1960s. The WHO was created in the 1940s. That's it. Kenyatta University. At this stage of the game, with 380 points, you're 100 points behind, and you need three correct answers in the ultimate challenge round to emerge outright winners. What category might you choose of the remaining three? Which direction? Which direction it is? Take a deep breath, gentlemen. From these important cities, in which direction is the shortest distance from, and seconds away, Bulawayo going to Lusaka? South. No. Kalemi headed to Kananga? North. No. Chipat on the way to Huambo? West. West. Yes. Francistown driving to Baira? East. Yes. Benghazi flying to Bangui? South. South. Yes. Gao headed to Tumbuktu? North. No. East. Tamale going to Tamba? East. No. Diradoa headed to Hargeisa. East. Yes. Bobo Dialaso, if you want to be in Wake. South. Yes. Zinda on the road to Nyame. South. No. Bulawayo going to Lusaka. East. West. No. West. Kalemi headed to Kananga. West. Yes. Gao headed to Tumbuktu. West. Yes. Tamale going to Tamba. East. No. Zinda on the way to Nyame. West. North. Yes. Bulawayo going to Lusaka? West. No. Tamale going to Tamba? Bus. Bulawayo? No. Yes. Tamale going to Tamba? East. No. West. No. South. No. South. South. No. No. South. No. South. No. South. A bit of confusion there, gentlemen, but I heard you answer nine questions correctly for 450 points. You should be happy about having a grand total of 830, making you today's winner of the Zane Africa Challenge. The one that you got wrong, the one that got away, Tamale to Tamba North, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, I hope you've made other friends for life during the course of this competition. We have to say goodbye to you. As quarter-finalists, you'll be taking away 1,500 US dollars each, plus $15,000 as an institutional grant for your university. Kenyatta University, Hongera, Hongezi, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> Next up are the semi-finals. It's Nigeria versus Nigeria as the University of Ibadan takes on the University of Lagos, Nigeria in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.